Hey friends, welcome back. Happy Friday, May 1st. It is a beautiful day outside and I am happy to be done with work. It's Friday, the weekend's here, and um, I have a super fun tumbler to share. So this one that I'd like to share with you, oh, and um, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Thanks. Okay, so this is the tumbler that I used. Um, this tumbler, it's super, super nice. It's actually really sturdy. So I got this at Walmart. I bought, oh, several of them. I was just wondering if it had like a name. Oh, it's the Mainstays brand. So I think that's kind of a, I think that's kind of a Walmart brand. And it is a, my glasses are all bent. It is a 22 ounce stainless steel top water bottle, uh, PBA free. It's for cold drinks only, hand wash only. And um, distributed by Walmart. So they, I'm sure they probably still have these. Now I bought these before everybody went on quarantine and stuff, they were a um, dollar. So super nice, it was only a dollar. And um, I saw them and I was like, oh, that's great. I'll buy several of them. So I bought, I wanna say like maybe eight of them. I wish I would have bought more because they're fantastic. So anyways, this is what I used to start. And then the video also shows it as well. And in the video, I'm going to show you what I use to be able to do this small top on my turner. Now, I am going to have my husband make me something, you know, that's compatible for my turner that will go and, you know, all the way down. Um, you know, the thing that my husband was thinking was like a bottle brush because you can put it in and then it expands and it'll hold it a little tighter. And then just something, you know, sort of bigger on the end of that. So I'm gonna have him figure something out for me for this because on my turner, you know, it does kind of like do the wonky turn. However, I mean, honestly, it's perfectly fine because I put such thin coats on this because it's light, you want thin coats of epoxy on it that it really, um, you know, doesn't hurt it at all that it goes a little bit wonky because of the length of it. So anyways, here's the tumbler completed. And on this one, I decided to, you know, leave the stainless on the bottom to match the, the top. I think on the next one, I'll probably go all the way down and see how that looks but I'm really really happy with how this turned out it held the glitter so nice so this is actually very inexpensive Walmart glitter also I put it on with tacky glue and did the ombre to it's two coats of glitter so the video that's gonna follow will show the glitter going on and the ombre. And then I did my initial epoxy, just a light coat of that. Then my decal. So my decal, I just pulled up from Google put it into design space and printed it. Now, of course, remember, if you are selling your products, you have to be careful of any type of image that has a copyright on it. This is for my grandson. I don't know if you see his name in there. I wanted it to be, I wanted Mickey to be pretty subtle along with the, the name. So that's why I chose to do black in there. So this would also be pretty if you were um, you know, you wanted it to be not as subtle. You could put some red in with the black for the Mickey or, you know, like 
fuchsia, something like that for Lake Mini. So anyways, I'm really happy with this. It held the glitter super nice. It held the epoxy really, really well. I had no problem with the glitter fallout or anything like that and like I said it's a I used a very inexpensive chunky glitter now I did between epoxy before I put Mickey on I did go in and do um, a sanding with water using a thousand grit sandpaper just to you know give it a nice smooth finish because it is, it was a very chunky glitter and again, a cheap glitter. So it is, you know, quite pokey and a nice hundred grit sandpaper under some water. I mean, thousand grit sandpaper under some water did really well. And now it is just smooth as can be. As far as prepping the cup, uh, I wanted to see how it would hold. So I didn't like sand the tumbler itself prior, I really just cleaned it with denatured alcohol. That was it. And it held really, really well. And super cute. I'm really impressed by how this turned out. So this was a really nice one. And, you know, as a gift, it would be a beautiful gift that's inexpensive. And if you're selling, it's beautiful, but your product is not expensive at all. So, yeah, this cost me a dollar, whatever, the little bit of epoxy. You know, one of these days I really need to um, go in and just do the math on, you know, how much um, the epoxy costs per cup. It's really not going to be much at all. I think because I have the two... Um, are they quart size? I think it's two quarts, like a gallon total is the epoxy. Um, and with my coupon, I want to say I paid like maybe 60 something dollars for it, you know, and on average, maybe, maybe 15 to 25 cc's per container because you know I don't use a lot of epoxy I do very thin coats because I don't like that thick bulky look um, I know some people do like 30 and 40 cc's right up front I used to and then um, I just got out of that habit and you know learned to just be patient and do several thin coats but honestly even now a lot of times I don't even need to do still yet more than two coats sometimes I do you know sometimes it's still like you can tell that oh I could use a little bit more epoxy so I will <clears throat> but I like to try and go in thin coats um so and then the glitter um so the two glitters together were maybe ten dollars and I've had them for like easy a year that white I've used on every single white project I've done and I still have half the bottle left I mean so it's really just probably change for the glitter um epoxy and vinyl you know no more I mean this cup truly is probably no more than a couple bucks the vinyl actually was the dollar um target vinyl and i just used a leftover square that was like this big so yeah so not a whole lot to make it and it's just absolutely beautiful so anyways hey so the video will um be attached and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. And I will see you soon. Actually, I'm going to be doing a video tonight. Um, I'm going to open here in a little while. I got the Crystal Lac, the um, non-epoxy covering. 
we'll see. So I'm gonna open it. We're gonna look at the ingredients and talk about it and I'll do it on a tumbler and we'll see how it works. All right, hey, listen, I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. Thanks, bye friends. This is gonna be a fun tumbler, I think. So I've got a little bit of water in my glass bowl, of course. Put some tacky glue in there. So what I'm gonna do is put one coat of glitter on this before I go to work. And then I'll put my tacky glue and brush in the refrigerator with some plastic over it and it'll be fine. And then when I come home, I'll put another coat. I'm gonna let my glue sit to the side and dissolve for a little bit. And so this is the tumbler that I'm gonna use. I got these at Walmart. I couldn't believe that these were a dollar at Walmart. I don't know if they still have them. I can't imagine that they wouldn't. I think it was a summertime thing that they had. I bought these, well, it was before people started going on lockdown. So, um, and honestly, it was really before anyone really started making stay at home orders when, when they were just starting to talk about some of this. So it's probably been a month and a half, almost two months since I bought these, but super cute, but you can find these anywhere. These are really fun, um, you know, little bottles for the summertime. So I'm going to, I don't want my top to get anything on it. So I'm going to tape up around to where I don't want, which would be about here. take my bottom because I want my bottom to stay silver. I might need to go grab some glasses. Tell you what, it, it's so weird because I've had 20-20 vision my whole life. And then as I have gotten older, I've gotten the presbyopia, so that's the kind of old age vision where you can't see small words or small things. And then it's so hard because I still, like my regular vision is still like my normal vision. So it's only like the smaller things that I can't see. And I just can't do bifocals. I've tried. So it's hard because I got to take my glasses on and off because I only need them for certain things. And then I can't see other stuff with them on. So I'm going to grab my glasses. inexpensive glitter but you know I like it it works just just fine I do have a nice white coming for some reason white is something that um, surprisingly I haven't bought that much of which you would think I would because you use it so often but it just goes to show how how long this thing of glitter here has lasted me. And this is a huge 
thing. I, I don't remember exactly, but it was somewhere around five or six dollars from Walmart and it's humongous. But if you think about like everything I've done with white glitter and I honestly don't think I've bought another white glitter. Not sure why, but yeah, I mean, I may be mistaken. I might have a white glitter in there that I'm not thinking about, but I don't think so. All right, and then this black, since I'm using this, you know, inexpensive chunky white, I thought I'd use this inexpensive chunky black just so that it mixes well. Now I'm going to, I have my little small solo cup here. I'm gonna mix half black and half gray. And I'm just gonna, I mean, half black and half gray, half white. I'm just gonna mix it up here. So that'll be my, that'll be my center color. They sell on different websites. Um, I know they sell like different little packages for different little shaker tools for the ombre, for the glitter. Um, I don't know. I personally just don't really see a need for it. I have a huge roll of um, of freezer paper in here, and I just don't know what happened to it. So I just I saved the backs of things like this is just an old piece of vinyl, and I use it all the time for stuff. Now. I'm going to do my white first. I always, you know, I just, I like to do my lighter color first. Especially when it's white. I feel like, um, you know, it helps decrease the decontamination. So I'm just going to blend my... Um, mixture here a little better. When my paint brushes are no good anymore, I always pull, especially these sponge ones, I always just pull the black um, sponge off and keep the dowel rod because they're great for stirring. And I've had lots of little projects that I've been grateful to have that little dowel rod for as well. So Tape's not exactly even. Let me I'm just gonna put another piece of tape around here because I didn't have my glasses on and I didn't do a great job making it even. I love the using the electrical tape more than painter's tape because it's flexible. But with the fact that it's flexible, you also have to be careful because it will pull and, you know, give you a funky line if you're not, if you don't pay attention. So, all right, so that's perfect. So, when I do ombres, I'm just going to put a little bit of my tacky glue on here. just because my tacky glue's a little on the wetter side today and I don't want it to get onto my um, sheet there where I'm going to be saving my glitter.
So I bought some of the no epoxy sealer. Um, Crystal Lac is the company. I'm waiting for it to come. I'm going to try it and see. Now, in all honesty, I've never had any problems with epoxy. I've been using it for a while. However, I am good about, I make sure that I wear my mask, I wear my gloves, and I do it in my craft room. I've honest to goodness, never had any issue. I know that there's people that feel like they do. I've been, I haven't. Um, I have lots of friends that have been using it for a long time, but I, you know, and even in other projects, boats and stuff, but I mean, Again, they're also good about, you know, using their protective equipment. So I'm going to try this other one, but I'll be honest with you. I don't know that I would use this other one without protective equipment either. Like this particular epoxy that I use doesn't really leave a smell either. And I still wouldn't use it without protective equipment so I mean they say that you don't have to but I just I don't know being a nurse I know that there's been lots of things through history that have been said to be fine and turns out that they're not fine I guess I can't say that this way that they're not fine so I mean to each their own but I just myself I will not be using it without protective equipment so and the other thing is like they you know the company says that it's safe that um, you know that it's the ingredients are considered even better than the best food grade epoxy but they said that there's no um, like FDA approval for top coats, which is weird to me. Like, I don't understand how there would be an approval for epoxy, but not for that. So... I'm looking forward to getting it and just kind of seeing. The steps look like they're a lot. Um, I'm hoping that it's, you know, a nice alternative. So I myself will probably continue to use epoxy. I don't have any issue with it and I like it. I do really thin coats of epoxy so I don't get those fat tumblers and um, it's why you'll see I do you know more coats of you know smaller amounts so I think doing the multiple small coats with this new stuff won't bother me at all but um, it, I do think it will take a whole lot longer because for me, I'm generally not, you know, waiting around to where in three or four hours I can just put another coat of epoxy or, you know, top on. It's usually like an overnight or while I'm at work. So um, even though it dries in four hours, I don't necessarily know that that's going to save me time. I think it's going to be more time consuming because of needing you know, even more than the epoxy does. But it looks like the finish is nice. And, you know, for people with asthma and stuff, it might um, be better. I still, you'll never hear me advocate, though, any, any type of chemical anything without protective equipment. And I'm already, you know, seeing that on YouTube with the Crystal Lac. Um, I just, you know, 
regardless it's still a chemical and there's still a chemical composition because otherwise it would not um, be able to do what it does. So I just am not going to be able to advocate doing it without a um, without a mask on no matter what and maybe it's great and you can do that but I just don't feel right with that I have learned through my life if it's too good to be true it probably is Okay. And even with that, like they say, you know, whatever. Like my epoxy is, it's made in the USA also. It's food grade. But, you know, I, anything that someone might put their mouth on, I don't go all the way to the top on. So like, um, like these cups like this, you know, I leave the rim and anything like if I've gone to the top of it, it's because I know there's going to be a top over it with a straw. It's not the kind of cup that someone will just put to their mouth. If it's the kind of cup that someone will, might just put to their mouth, I don't, um, I don't go all the way to the to the top with it oh hey look while I have this out isn't this cute so I just wanted to see like I wanted to see how this would work and I thought oh this would be cute like so wouldn't this be nice for like an announcement because you can go in and make your own word searches and what if in the word search you know, it was in like, will you marry me? And that was what was circled or um, you're going to be a grandparent or something like that. Now, the one thing I did find because I did Mod Podge over top of this, but I was really sort of lackadaisical with it. And I knew that I missed some, some spots, but I was like, oh, I just want to see how this turns out. So I didn't go back and cover them so you could see the difference. So if you if you did something like this and you Mod Podge over it, it's beautiful. But see, these are the places where I missed Mod Podge. And then the epoxy, like this type of paper, the epoxy seals in and makes watermarks. You see? But then the areas that the Mod Podge is over it nicely looks good. So anyways, just something I was seeing what it looked like I thought I'd share. All right, so back to this. All right, so I know that it doesn't look very ombre right now. However, when I go in and put the second, the second coat, I don't worry as much with the ombre mixing on the first coat because the second coat is where I really get the more ombre. So first of all, it's never going to, you're never going to perfectly be back like all white, all black, whatever. So it's going to do some of the falling down naturally on the second coat and mixing in. Same with this one and mixing in. But then I'll go in and just intentionally do more of an ombre on it with the second coat as well. Um, but I'm going to let this dry. And then... When I come home today, we will go in and do the second coat and fix our ombre, okay? So with this, I'm just gonna put some plastic over it and stick it in the fridge. Now, honestly, if I put plastic over it, it I don't even need to stick it in the fridge, but, um, you know, sometimes the fridge makes it a little bit gooey. I always put paint in the fridge, um, but the glue is fine in the fridge. 
and I'm just going to put it in the fridge only because it's so watery right now that it'll be fine. But if you do put it in the fridge because you're going to be like maybe a few days, just add some more water to it and it's fine. All right. I'll see you guys back in a bit. Bye. All right, so after the second set of glitter, you can see the ombre is much more ombre now. And I put Mod Podge on to seal it. So now I'm gonna go in and put epoxy. Okay, so I'll do a layer of epoxy. Let me take this off. So, I honestly, I should have taken this um, tape off before the Mod Podge completely dried because that's why um, it will like pull, just so you know. So now I'm going to do a layer of Mod Podge. And I'm just going to leave this little bit of tape here on the top because I'm not going to be getting up that far in that way. Just a little added protection. So now I'll do, I mean, I'll, I'll do a layer of epoxy and then I'll put on my decals. So even though I put Mod Podge on here to seal it, you still want a layer of epoxy on it. You still want a layer of epoxy on it because it's still going to be, um, you know, a little rough to put a decal on. Now, if you wanted to be able to do your decal before your epoxy, and just not do a layer of epoxy first. You'd have to do a couple layers of Mod Podge. And for me, as far as that goes, I just would rather do the layer of epoxy and have something super, super smooth. So I'm just going through and fixing the ends of my, um, of my glitter here where I have my tape. All right, and now we'll get some epoxy on it. So I also thought I would show you real quick my little contraption for doing bottles like this. Now, what I do, and you may have something better, but if you need something in a pinch, this works, and this works well, so it's what I continue to do for these bottles. Oops, sorry, I got a little piece of right there um so these are from the dollar tree so this is the same material as the pool noodle so i have a pool noodle i take these yellow things here off and then the part with the opening here i stick into the pool noodle so that it's like this and the whole thing goes i stick this inside of there so the whole thing is on my um my on my spinner and then I put a cloth around it because this isn't quite fat enough almost but not quite so I have these little cloths I cut in half 
I put one around it and then I just like tape all of that together and stick my bottle on and it holds really well. All right, I'm going to make epoxy. All right, I have got my epoxy mix. So it's my one-to-one -one epoxy that I always use. So with this, now I don't like to do a lot of epoxy at once. I tend to do thinner, multiple layers. Now this is though a little bit more than I normally do for a layer because of all the glitter. So when I do glitter, I do three pumps of each. If it's not glitter, if I'm putting it over um, like just vinyl or paint or something, then my first layer will generally be one pump of each. But glitter soaks up epoxy. So I do three pumps of each. So it's probably about, probably about 15 cc's here total. Now, if I'm putting glitter on with epoxy, then I only do one pump of each because again, glitter really soaks into epoxy. So I want, if you're putting it on with your glitter, I mean, if you're putting glitter on with your epoxy, you want it to be a very thin thing of glitter because uh, of epoxy because you don't want like just tons and tons of glitter that you don't need and you don't want like thick areas so when i'm putting it on putting glitter on with epoxy then i only do one pump of each which is about five cc's and then but because of covering glitter i'm gonna do more and then you always want to go just a hair above your glitter and a hair below so that your epoxy is stuck to something other than just your glitter and i use baby wipes to clean off anything in the wrong spot before it dries. So I, I think, you know, baby wipes, baby wipes and coffee filters are an epoxy girl's best friend. So you can hear I have my, my mask on. Always wear my mask, always wear my gloves. And I've never had any problem with epoxy. I always, I don't cheap out on epoxy. I always buy good epoxy. Um, I buy it made in the USA because I live in the USA. I suggest for people, I always say if you can, you should buy epoxy from the country that you um, live that's made in the country that you're from because that way you know that it's to your standards. If you don't, or someplace that doesn't really have epoxy made in your place, I would get it made in the USA because um, of the FDA standards. You want it to be um, food grade epoxy. So I get a nice coat around everything and then whatever I have left, then I just do like a drizzle on. I like to make sure my ends are good. Now with these bottles, 
there's always a little bit of a tilt to the spin because they're so long. But I do thin enough things of epoxy that it really doesn't, um, you know, make any sort of difference. What is, I have like a thick, no, well, that's going to have to stay there because it's not touched on it. It's a thick piece of glitter right there. All right. So that's good. Now, I will take a baby wipe. And just go over. So we will let that um, spin and dry, and then we'll come back, put on our decal, and put on another coat or two of epoxy. That's going to be super cute. All right. See you in a bit.